flowers are everywhere in Dutch art. Hi, I'm Femke Dierks, Head of Decorative Arts. My colleagues and I would like to show you some of the highlights of the collection. Painted still lifes were the perfect way to have a beautiful bouquet of flowers in your house all year round. This painting by Hans Boerogier shows that great. You can see that he painted tulips in different stages of bloom, from just budding to almost withering. And he combined them with carnations, roses and other flowers that do not bloom at the same time. So the painter did something that Mother Nature never could. This lovely painting, small as it is, shows those beautiful flaming tulips again. And even though people in the 17th century loved the flaming effect, it was actually, ironically, caused by a virus that infects the bulb. Also, we see that Boschardt painted the flowers in a vase made of Chinese porcelain and showing, indeed, flowers. This table cover looks like a bunch of flowers are spread out all over it. They form a beautiful pattern, starting with the medallion in the middle and covering the entire surface. The dark blue of the background forms a sharp contrast with the colors of the flowers. Lying on a table, it would have been as if you could just pick up one of the flowers. Just look at this wonderful silver dish. The flowers, the lilies and tulips are shown from different angles. They're very lifelike, even though they're monochrome, made in silver. That's because they're embossed. They rise up from the surface just a little bit. The doors of this cabinet show an entire still life made of wood. The small pieces of wood that were inlaid are sometimes scorched just a little bit to create the illusion of depth. But the best reminder of just how popular flowers were in the 17th century are the Delftware vases that were created to display them. Just look at these flower bricks, a rectangular shape with small holes in the top to put individual flowers into. Even in the baskets on the heads of these figures, you could put fresh flowers. The most impressive of these flower vases must be the pyramids. They could become as tall as a meter and a half. Pretty handy for social distancing. At a glance, they seem to be made of Chinese porcelain. On the base, we see Chinese figures in front of a temple-like structure. A part of the scene is repeated on each of the segments. A figure playing a Chinese string instrument and a low table with, yes, yes, a vase of flowers. Dutch Delftware was created as an imitation of Chinese porcelain. The tops and the fantastical creatures that hold the segments give away their European origin. The shape of the pyramids was developed at the court of Mary Stuart, the wife of Stadtholder William III. She was passionate about both flowers and ceramics, and she created a true craze for Delftware pyramids among the Dutch and English elites. Stay tuned for another video, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in the museum. Stay safe, everyone.